from the national uh, we've assembly done, point of view to and allow these concept grow. We've passed that. We've passed that in the Senate. Okay. We passed that in the Senate last year. Clear law. The law says categorically, I can't remember the section, that MDAs must give first option, first user to locally produce goods. So that's the law. We hope that the House of Rep will concur on that law and the President will sign that law. Once that law is signed by the President, I can assure you I've already directed our, min, our committees oversight functions. And this is where we're engaging with the public. I've, I've opened a unit in my office where we're going out to the public, to people who produce things locally and say, tell me, is there anything you produce that you think you are being put aside in favor of an, an imported item? Let us know in the National Assembly and we will play that oversight function to ensure. And Mr. President, in his speech, too, said that they're going to drive the agencies that look, you must buy first option. Now, now, there are things that we cannot produce. I'm not, I, don't, I don't think we're going to do that overnight. Take America. Even as of last year, President, former President Obama was telling, was, was passing the idea that it was a political law that said all people going to join the military must wear American boots. I mean, this is a country which is even developed, not to talk about ours here. So this is the kind of thing that leadership is about and, and being able to provide that support. I know generally Nigerians, we're all skeptical, but this has never been done before. Nobody has thought about it. Nobody's putting the weight of the parliament behind it, plus the weight of the executive. Who is the person? I, well, I can assure you, I don't see any agency that will be able to stand up and tell us that they're not going to do this once the president signs his law. Uh, that's, that's a major issue now because uh, the APC had said that uh, in its campaign that it's going to create uh, thousands of jobs every year. Uh, do you have an idea just how incremental this idea can be if, it, if for example, if it's uh, uh, duly embraced by everybody? I, I, some statistics, I mean, uh, who have said that if we can, if we can create or spend at least, as I said, 20, 30 percent of that two trillion. Say me about that's what that's about 400 billion. That that alone itself can add what two to three percent on our GDP growth. It's possible because if you think about it, that was an amount that would not have gone into our economy; it would have gone out because government will have spent that money in buying foreign exchange and uh, with no value locally. Now all of a sudden, that money is not going anywhere. So your 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 pressure on your foreign exchange is there. The money is staying locally, jobs are being created, it's going down. So if a company is producing that never had that business, it has to employ more people, it has to increase its production, jobs are being created. So you begin to see the inclusive growth that we talk about. It's just not just one sector. This is a sector that, because government spends every sector, so every sector will be stimulated by this. So it's, it's huge, and I don't think we should, we should, it's something that we should all buy into. I, have you spoken to the president? Yeah. We'll take a moment, we'll pause that, and when we return, we'll draw more on some of the issues that are politically in that interview, but that's after now. Plus, the interview we sat down with the former Senate President, Kenny Namano, who says the PDP is in coma. That's next. Join us again. Many thanks for staying with us, everyone. We've been talking with the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, on the State of the Nation. We spoke about the issue of the crisis in the PDP, uh, in the APC, rather, the ruling of Progressive Congress, and, of course, the interplay between the National Assembly and the executive. Of course, he's been talking about the Nigerian economy. Let's, talk, let's get more on that interview now. President is strong on this idea as well. He's, he's welcomed it? Yeah, yeah. He's in, the, in his speech at the Economic um, um, Summit, he spoke strongly on it. 
And even in the economic plan of the of the government, it's there as one. The of, made in Nigeria uh, idea. Also yeah, money is all, it's also there. So we are all on the same page. That let's just pass the law and let's see which government agency decides that they, because of their own personal reasons, they, they, they don't want to patronize Nigerian companies. I, I, I would probably take you to a point in time now that look, uh, being a, a governor for eight years, mm -hmm. and I know that when you were going around the country uh, for the APC and telling Nigerians, at this point in time, you, you're opt optimistic, you speak passionately about what this party can do for Nigeria. But at this point, are you really proud of what your party has done for Nigeria? Mm -hmm. I like how you go from economic to politics. I'll, I'll, I'll indulge you, I'll indulge you in this one. Um, look, to say that it's been, it's, it's been tough, it is, um, uh, there are many things we, shouldn't, we should have, could have done differently. Um, I think in the early stages, probably we didn't manage the success as well. But it's a learning curve. It's a, it's a, and like anywhere in the country, don't forget that uh, as a, as a party that hasn't been in, in power for many years, it, that's a learning curve. I mean, look at the budget process. You can see, compared now to last year, it's, it's much better. There's less acrimony. It's, 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 the process is better. And the same with government. As, as, as time has gone in the last couple of things will get better. Today, the, the Senate adjourned plenary to yeah. uh, the 21st of February 2017. Mm -hmm. For the past two or so days, uh, the Senate has been deliberating on the 2016 budget, 2017 yeah. budget. Uh, how soon do you think the 2017 budget might be passed? Do you think it can be faster than the 2016 budget? Yeah, faster? for sure. That's our target. We'll, we'll make it to be quicker than the 2016 budget. Um, We've, we've, we've got a timetable in place, and we've been, we've been keeping to that. We're back on the 21st. Hopefully by then the reports will start coming in. And uh, plus or minus um, three weeks from the, from the time we come back, three, three weeks, four weeks, we should be done. Some people are still asking. The National Assembly has still not opened up its budget. National Assembly will open its budget in 2017. Well, we know exactly the details of the you 2017 see it in You have said it, you promised Nigerians that in your own time. I said in my own time. Us. My time is not over yet. It's huh? not over exactly. yet. Exactly. So this, this is your second budget that you are presiding over. Yeah, and you see it. You see it. All right, before I allow you to go, um, I will not leave until you, uh, to, until you tell me this. Mm -hmm. And it has to do with a, a bit of politics and a bit of economy. Mm -hmm. You've heard about a mega party. Mm -hmm. Are you concerned about a mega party? Well, if the market party is towards pushing the Nigerian economy forward, I don't, I don't have any problem. Uh, as I've said to many people, my focus now is on the economy. Senate President, is the APC on track? Is the crisis and the leadership uh, over? I think so. I think, I think the party uh, is, is on track. Uh, I think, as, as I said, you know, the things we, 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 we did not do right at the beginning, but I think it's all, we all learned from it. Uh, and I think we're beginning to do things that shows unity, shows we're coming together. And we're beginning to see the results in how government is working and how the, the arms of government are working together, how the executive, legislative arms is working, the legislative and party is working, executive and party is working. And I think the country will be better for it all. So uh, I'm confident that it's going to continue to get better, not, not get worse. I think we've gone past the worst times. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See you. All right. <laughs> That's a conversation with uh, the Senate president, but that's just an abridged version. The full version of that will be online for you to see some more interesting part of that interview.